In today's series, I want to talk about the Talah worm. We read in the book of Psalms 22 verse 6, Jesus declaring himself to be as a worm. And this is in the context of his crucifixion. Now, the generic word for worm in the scriptures, the Hebrew, is Ramah. But the word here in Psalm 22, 6, the Hebrew word there is Talah. So it's a very specific worm that Jesus is referring to. And when you have a look at this Talah worm, which is also called a crimson worm, it's more of a grub than a worm. Uh, the, the worm, when it is ready to give birth, uh, the female will then attach herself to the stem of the tree or even to a wooden fence post. And we see here a picture of the crucifixion. Jesus being nailed to a tree. She is so permanently fixed to this tree or fence post that to remove her, you would have to tear her body apart. And we see this with Jesus being nailed to that cross and how he was ripped apart in that sense. We then see that she lays her eggs under her body and so clearly protects them uh, from, from the outside world. And how Jesus protects those that are his. The Bible tells us that when we're born again, we're in fact baptized into Jesus Christ. We put on Christ. We're covered in his righteousness. We're protected. When the larvae hatch, they stay for a period of time under her shell. So too with, with us in Christ. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 teaches us, If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Her body protects her babies just as God protects us. And that wonderful scripture in Romans 8 verse 31, If God be for us, who can be against us? The babies then begin to feed on her living body. And we also feed on the body of Jesus Christ. We eat of him. We drink of him. John 6, remember the disciples, uh, many were offended. When Jesus said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no part of me. The mother then dies and she oozes out this red dye. A wonderful picture of Jesus and his blood being shed upon the cross of Calvary. The dye stains the, the wood, uh, the tree that she's attached to, but it also stains her babies. And they take on that red or crimson color. So to you and I, we have been washed in the blood of the Lamb. And without the shedding of blood, there can be no remission for, for sin. We have been redeemed by the blood. The incredible thing is, after three days, uh, her body will then lose its crimson color. It turns into a white wax, and then it falls to the ground like a snowflake. And isn't that such a wonderful picture of Jesus three days after his crucifixion? The scripture says uh, that in, in the same way in, in, in Psalm 22, his heart in verse 14, he says, became like wax. And so we see the principle of three days in the crucifixion. We see how uh, the scarlet changes to that which is white, as Isaiah puts it in chapter 1 and verse 18. Although your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And so when Jesus was talking about this Talal worm, he's making reference to this incredible picture, this worm uh, that the Jews would use to dye the, the curtains in the temple, the door of the temple and the door into the sanctuary, into the Holy of Holies, that that red dye was what they used from this Talal worm 
to to stain those linen cloths and so a wonderful picture concerning Jesus and his crucifixion and his provision for our salvation.